back at it again at BRC26. Turns out, trying to fight Leone at all is a fool's errand. And all we need to do is just get up through there, through that door. And apparently we're, we're fine. We can just get on out of here. No problems, no issues. Because this, this is a joke game. It's, it's just a funny little prank, bro. Just a funny, funny little... Silly game for silly people. The exploding barrel thing was clever, but unfortunately you didn't account for being suddenly tossed into another map with eight dudes who know where you are while still on fire. Yeah! Yeah, see, I figured... I figured I could do a cool sacrifice play, you know? Like, like, Snake's, like, you know, got Leone pinned down, and he's all like, I'm telling you, shoot! And Telic was like, I can't! I'll hit you too! And he's like, it's fine, just shoot! You know, like, uh... Like Piccolo uh, and Goku fighting against Raditz, you know, because, oh no, because Leone's health was getting kind of low there. Like, I, I definitely, I had a plan and I had a shot, but I didn't expect for him to just, you know, simply heal and then the game just thrust me into a new area. Silly me, I suppose. You know, I'm realizing now I probably should have split up. Have one take the left, one take the right. Now I can't get past him. Although I can just... I probably can walk on by. Again, Telly goes far enough away from him. He is a big boy. He doesn't move very fast. He may move slow. He can't jump high. But he can absolutely obliterate you with an anti-material rifle. So, you know, we've all got our skills. Yep, and now Snake's just right at the beginning square. So it's interesting because he is very Vulcan Raven. But I guess he's also Fortune. Because, I mean, why even fight him? You know, you just lame it out. Just get it, get the heck out of there. He has no style. He has no grace. This gorilla has lost his base. You know, I, I had the idea of maybe uh, at some point I should do a gorilla stream, but instead of gorilla like like that, it would be a, a gorilla stream. And um, you know, I just I just show up on webcam uh, dressed as uh, you know wearing wearing a, a, a monkey suit, uh, and I just make monkey noises. And then I realized there's a lot of freaks on the internet, so I probably don't want to do that. Yes, we, we all remember gorilla marketing. Making one gorillion dollars. I do wish that even if you failed the mission, you got to keep the packs. The card packs you pick up. But I guess that would make the game a little too easy. 
But it would be a nice way to... You know... Have something, like... Uh, some semblance of victory that you could perhaps take into the... The next attempt. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm realizing something kind of funny. Wait a minute. I'm realizing something very funny. You see... You see, the, the camera started in a way that led me to believe that I had to make it across and get behind Leone to get to the north uh, passage. But I now see I actually started at the North Passage. Because there were no targets on the ground behind Leone there. But you can see the map is actually facing up, and right behind me, right there, are the little squares. Oh. Oh, so, so... Oh, it's a Roger moment. Oh, so I, so I have to fight him until his health lowers. So I can't go through the exit that it shows me, and I can't go through through this, which, you know, th those little targets, which have the game has so far taught me, I, I actually made a note of it after last stream, that if the target is white, that moves me to a new area, and if the target is blue, that completes the mission. So that information is not helpful right now either, and I in fact do need to fight this man and lower his health to a certain extent before the game just whisks me away on fire into a brave new world. I think your first channel Twitch emote needs to be Roger for posting when someone is just absolutely full of shit. I think I agree with that. If I don't remember that, Please, please make note of that, because I think, I think at this point, Roger is certainly becoming an iconic character in the Chuni Onika lore. Yep, I guess, I guess it's time to just go start, uh, punching this large man right in the ass. Just get on each side and just start bullying. Well, you know, at the very least, my triangle button works. And I can take a peek and see he's right there. That's nice. That's nice that that, that function is, is working now. I'll equip this. And now he's... He's... He's moving.
Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and make my way to him. Yeah, he's... he's there. Is he next to a... no? And he can shoot me... Is there, is there anything I can equip? Mm. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave Snake right there. We're gonna work on moving Teleco a little closer to Leona here. Try and like box him in a little bit. That's my that's my goal. That's my hope. I don't know what the opposite of schmoving is, but he's doing that. Uh, you know, I also don't know what the opposite of schmoving is. You'd think schmoving might be like slow moving, but actually, it's not. It's it's fast moving. So maybe maybe using that logic, he's. Smooth it? F f f f moving? S f moving? I don't really know. All right. So, I, I'm curious now. If I... It says locks on to machines only. Okay. Okay. You just can't use it. Uh... I mean, I guess, I guess I'm just going to punch him. It seems to do a decent amount. And we're going to go over here. Yep, he doesn't like it. He's confused. Well, not for long, though. All right, let's see how well this does. No, nope, he's, he's, that's right, he's got his Virgil skill. That is so funny. Well, we're just going to punch him. Oh no, but he's, oh no. His Kung Fu skill is too strong. So we're gonna punch him again. Oh no! I, I didn't know front evade uh, also counted as a side evade. Well, let's equip that.
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's let's get out of harm's way. Try and pin him down again. Get on each side of him. Oh no. Oh no. Out of action. Oh no, I can't... Hmm. You know what? Here you go. Oh, right. Well, that's fine. Hey, he, he got us away from him. Oh no. <laughs> Out of action. And fainted. Just doing a wonderful job here. Oh, oh, here we go. Please give me a... No? Well, I've lost my XM8. And, uh... I'm very low on health. But we've got a ninja, and we've got video compression. No, I don't think I do want to get closer to him. Let's just equip it, just for the hell of it. Just realized that isn't the secret ninja costume in the video. No, it's it's not. He's not wearing his, uh... His legally distinct arachnid boy colors. Sure, let's punch him, too. <laughs> Colorblind moment. Yeah, no, he's, uh... Oh, no. Not the head bonk. Equipment destroyed. Oh, no. Yeah, the... The colors of Gray Fox, or I guess the, the Cyborg Ninja, in Metal Gear Solid 1 are definitely... I'm not doing great, just by the way. Uh, they're, they're not as saturated as they are in later appearances, so it's kind of hard to tell, but... Especially, even between the gray and the blue, it's a little hard to tell. But... The big difference is the the face. The head is uh, red. With the secret costume. The orange definitely is not as pronounced. In the original Metal Gear Solid 1 as it is in uh, later appearances. I'm pretty sure to this day I could not tell you what color the MGS1 Ninja is. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> when you see him in, in later appearances like Twin Snakes, Smash Brothers, etc. Even in MGS2, it's... Uh, for clarity's sake, I'm referring to the Raiden Ninja in MGS2, not the Mr. X Olga Ninja. Just for all you lore experts out there. But yeah, the... 
Which is funny because the Mr. X ninja is actually palette-wise closer to... MGS1 Gray Fox's in-game textures. But when you get the Raiden Ninja costume for the VR missions, it's much more clearly orange and blue. Calico, I could have I could have made better decisions with, by the way. You know, I I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to end. Isn't it like gray, cyan, and pale orange? Something like that. It's, it's a very strange color scheme. Now here's a question I have. He's, he's gonna do it again! He's gonna do it again! He did it again! <gasps> I'm gonna die! Well, that was take two of this mission. No thanks to Roger's gaslighting. Let's see, let's see if take three goes any better.